are live. Hey, hi guys, what's up? And welcome to my first Christmas edition video. It has been a really long time, but I am back. And to get straight into the video, I'm going to be making Christmas TikTok recipes. Now, if you have been connected to the internet at any point in time, um, like through social media, whether that be Instagram, YouTube, or just Snapchat or whatever, you would know about this thing called TikTok. And TikTok is just this app in which people make short videos. It could be hair videos, it could be comedy videos, just, you know, videos in general that people enjoy to watch. And it's pretty much blown up and like millions of people use it. And I, I noticed I haven't seen a whole lot of food related videos, at least on my TikTok. I haven't seen a whole lot. But, you know, since my channel does make food content, I figured might as well make a food video. And um, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos about TikTok recipes, well, about TikTok in general. So <clears throat> figured I'd jump on that bandwagon. But um, to get straight into the video, so for today's video, I'm going to be trying out TikTok Christmas recipes, specifically dessert recipes. And for this video, I'm going to be making this Oreo truffle that I found. It was pretty hard to locate actually a good TikTok Christmas recipe. And when I say good, for me, I mean, it's something that's just really simple, really easy, really cheap, not too complicated, but it still looks really good. And it's something different. So the first one I'm going to be trying is a Oreo truffle. So um, I'm going to have, I wanted to play the video in this video, but I'm not quite sure how that works with, you know, copyright and what I have to get permission from the other, from the person that posted it. So I'm just going to show screenshots of each step. There's about four steps, four, five, six, maybe steps to getting this recipe completed. And that'll be it. I'm just going to follow them and hopefully it comes out really, really good. And for this recipe, for this recipe, I'm going to need the main ingredient, which is Oreos. I got the double stuffed Oreo and I'm going to be using this. The recipe is pretty simple. It just requires Oreos and cream cheese and a, a hand mixer or a beater if you have one. But that's what I'm going to be doing. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple. I've noticed a lot of people have been making recipes with Oreos, but uh, this one is just really, really simple. It should take no time at all. So let's really get into this Christmas video. So for these truffles, I used roughly about 10 Oreos and my food processor was a bit too small. So I had to break them up at first and then pulse them in sections. So I would take about mm, four or so Oreos, crush them up, put them in the food processor and blend them all up. And then I would add a little bit more after they you know, got crumbed up and then add a little bit more until it was fully blended. So after that was done, step two, I just added the cream cheese into the mix and I added about two ounces, two and a half ounces of cream cheese. And I broke that up in half as well. And I still crushed it. I still added the, I separated the Oreos into about two sections and I added the cream cheese in, blended it up, added a little bit more crushed Oreos, blended it up. And that was that for that. So the recipe says that after you crush them up, add the cream cheese and crush them up again, or blend them up in this case, you're going to refrigerate the mix for about 15 minutes, take them back out and then roll them up and form them into the truffle shape. So after you take them out of the fridge for 15 minutes and you roll them up, you will feel that the truffles uh, start to melt a little bit. The cream cheese will start to melt in your hand 
So the third step requires that you take the truffles and you put them in the freezer for at least an hour. Now, to be honest, <laughs> for me, I was very busy this day. So the, the hour turned into two hours and then it turned into four hours and then it turned into overnight. And then he had to work the next day. So that turned into uh, two days. And now I'm filming this. I'm finished filming this now. So, uh, yeah, it's been in the fridge for about a day and a half, almost two days. So these should be really, really, really solid. But now I'm just going to ice them up with a regular, a simple powdered sugar icing, just powdered sugar and water. A glaze. I'm gonna glaze them with that. And all right, so yo. let's get into how these things look. I'm really, really excited, and it's really hot. So I'm gonna try and eat this before before the glaze melts anymore. So uh, put this. Okay, so this is it. Wow, I did. I left. I did some glaze, and I left some unglazed just to see how it would taste not glaze and without all the, sh the extra sugar and stuff, but let's see it. It's very good. It's very rich. It is very rich, very velvety. I love it. This is exactly what I pictured it would, it would taste like. This is how I imagined it would taste. Mm. Downside though, um, I I could kind of taste that it was in the freezer. You know what I mean? Like when something's been in the freezer, and you know it's been in the freezer. Yeah, that's how it tastes. But overall, it does taste really nice. It is very velvety, very soft and very smooth i think it'll make a nice treat for the holidays um what i'm gonna do is i'm going to just freeze this up and save it for christmas day because i have enough sweets in the house i have enough sweets in the house and i don't need to be eaten i don't need to be eating that much sugar so uh, and my family doesn't need to be eating that much sugar, so that I'm thinking this is going in the freezer until Christmas Day, potentially Christmas evening. But I do recommend you try this. It is like a, I'd give it a nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. It is nice. It really is nice. Truly, like I could see this in an ice cream. I would love to eat this solid though. Like I took it out the freezer, and the time it took for me to glaze it like after i took it out the freezer i glazed it up that took about what two minutes and it's 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 squishy i thought it would have been a little bit more firm especially considering the time that i had left it inside the freezer but you know what that's fine <laughs> anyway <clears throat> anyway so that was really really awesome that was really good and that was so fast <laughs> I thought to myself, hmm, if I can make this in a quick time, in a short amount of time, I should try out another flavor. So, so this video wouldn't be too short. I am going to try out another classic cookie flavor and I'm going to try and turn it into a truffle. I'm going to be using the classic Chips Ahoy and I'm going to be converting this into a truffle as well to see if I get the same result or if I can make it better or if it comes out worse. So that'll be really interesting to see. So let's see if we can take the perfect munchable cookie and turn it into a Chips Ahoy truffle. So for the famous Amos truffles, all the recipe rules for the original recipe stays the same. We're just going to crush the cookies up into fine bits and then add in the cream cheese i'm not gonna lie i switched to a hand mixer to mix the cream cheese into the cookies because using the food processor got very annoying it was a whole lot easier to use a hand mixer so i did that and after you mix it 
uh, we're just going to let the mixture sit in the fridge for 15 minutes, take it out, form the truffle shape, put it into the freezer for an hour or in our case, or in our case, a day and a half, and take it out and then glaze it. I will say though, the Famous Amos cookies were a whole lot easier to work with just because there wasn't any cream or anything in it. It was just a straight cookie with a little bit of chocolate chips in it. So it blended very nicely and it, it was a whole lot lighter, honestly. All right, now it is time for the Chips Ahoy. The famous Amos truffle. This is it right here. I will say this feels a whole lot more firmer than the Oreo one. And it smells just about the same. So let's try it out. The chocolate comes out so strong in these. Like it definitely tastes the fact that it has chocolate chips in it. And it's a whole lot more firmer. It's a whole lot more firmer and it's just a sweet. Once again, it is very smooth and velvety. Not as rich, but it does taste like a famous Amos and I love that. Like a... It's not like a cheesecake. I thought it would have tasted like or felt like a cheesecake. But uh no, you, you feel that these were cookies inside of this. But overall I like it. Would definitely recommend. But like I said, these are going away until Christmas, which is tomorrow. So no one gets tempted to eat it. Okay, that was such an awesome video. I really enjoyed it. Now, if you want to try this recipe, go ahead and try it. But yeah, with these, with these uh, truffles, I'm going to freeze them and keep them until Christmas Day. You know, I could wait until then. I have enough sweets in the house already, so I'm not going to eat them right now. But I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you tried it out, please let me know how it came out. If you liked it or if you didn't like it. If you think it's too sweet, if you think it's too... But yeah, if you do like this kind this kind of content, the whole TikTok recipe type thingy, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Like this video for sure. Subscribe so you don't miss any more content from me whenever I decide to post. Also, you can follow me on Instagram <laughs> on Instagram and see some more stuff about me over there. So uh, yeah, without further ado, have a good Christmas. And if you're wondering, yes, I did get a new camera. Thank you for noticing.